Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion coming to you with another video of a project. Sorry, I was trying to move some stuff around. Of another project, uh, this time using the brand new Prima Julie Nutting Camille doll stamp. And let me show you what the stamp looks like. I just did a periscope, but I figured I also do a YouTube video real quick showing you what I did with the doll stamp and some paper. This is hot off the CHA show, the Crafting Hobby Association, which happened last week. This is the stamp itself. Let me take it off my Prima stamp block. And she's called Camille. And I love her. I think this is the one going to be the next one that's going to be the hot seller for her. I haven't quite figured out what this piece yet. I think it's a scarf of some sort, but I haven't figured out that part yet. Each of her new stamps now are going to come with three pieces, and this is one, two, and three. Um, and I'll show you the one that I also got, which is also new. She's called Gina, and she's more of like the going to the beach kind of gal. And the saying on her says, the ocean makes her heart sing. So that's Gina. And what I did with Camille is I used the new paper line by Frank Garcia at Prima. And it's called Tales of You and Me. It's 12 by 12 co co collection. I was going to say connection. And it's beautiful paper. It kind of reminds me of the... Um, romance collection kind of you get two pages of stickers these are stickers and they're thick stickers they're not like cheapy stickers they're, they're nice quality and then here's a quick flip through of the paper and this is my favorite one one of my favorites one favorite ones I should say this is my favorite favorite one and you get a really good co collection of them and they're thick paper so what I did with this is I made an altered canvas. And I'm sure you've seen ones out, out there. But um, I just thought this was a unique way. I spent $1.50 at Daiso on this canvas. Handmade by Liz's Paper Passion. And I had a lot of fun with it. I uh, used the, I, I, what I did on the sides, because I didn't want it to be like a really bright white. So I used the chalk called Branch Bark by Prima. It's the Ingvid, Ingvid Bolme line. And I love these, they're like a little iron. So I altered the canvas. I put a paper on the side and I kind of inked the edges, but I wanted to leave a little bit of the wood raw. And I paper pieced a Camille. On the bottom I gave her a sequence she's very uh, classy she's going on on a special date because she's enchanted oops sorry that's a sticker from the collection and this is a collection of ribbons that my friend Barbara gave me in a previous video I did and here's her crown she's going to be using it later sorry I keep moving my phone which is my camera so I really like this thank you Barbara see I'm using your stuff already and then here I just put a, a doily, crochet doily, and this is another sticker from the collection. And in this corner I put um, one of these wooden pieces that come, it's the debutante collection by Prima. They're called Wood Gems. And I really, really, really like this one, really. And um, what I was saying on my Periscope also, my Periscope is Lisa's Paper Passion, so come join me too, because I'm going to be doing more planner and crafting quick little shows there save your packaging Prima has is known for their packaging whether it's the paper backing the stamps which you can die cut and do things with that are really good quality or the wooden pieces you know that come in the packaging you can do so many different beautiful little montages with these or hold your goodies I love it so um, that's another one that I'll be saving uh, so here I put a Let's Dance My Darling. And then this piece in the back is a wooden, it's not wood, it's, it looks like a wooden fence, but it, it was a chipboard fence that I got my from my friend Gladys. And then the rest of it is just bits and pieces of things that I had in my stock, my stock, my stash. <laughs> it 
it would sometimes it does feel like stock because I love Prima goodies and then here's a little bottle full of beads okay, let's see if I can focus better here oh that's better and here's a Prima flower it's one um, I got it from their warehouse a long time ago and I have a few precious pieces left I was debating whether or not to put that one or this big one but I figured this one would be would overshadow too much you know when you're crafting and you doubt yourself and then here's just a metal butterfly and I used the paper all around oh well, the other thing I used is um, I almost forget the name of it I just had it here modeling cream that, that's what it is it's modeling cream and it's by Viva Decor and I have no idea what, oh here it is it was right in front of me and I, I use this just with my finger because I couldn't find my stencils. So I just kind of use my finger, which is your best tool, as they say, just to kind of rub it. I also put some in the background here to kind of stand out. And then the way I did this part here on the bottom of her dress is I just took some glossy accents and just poured it on the bottom of her dress. And then I put the, the sequence on top of it and it shook the ex excess off. So it has like a 3D effect, it's really nice. And I did paper piece her shoes. So that was my quick project on a um, rather inexpensive base for $1.50. I turned into a piece of art and this will be going out as a gift to a friend. So thanks for stopping by. Oh, before I forget, uh, this is the name of uh, Christine's store. And I'll also put a link to it so you could just click the link and go. Shop at her store. She carries Prima products. She carries Gorgeous Girl. She has the brand new Happy Planners that are be that are going to be available to her first. She's pre-selling those. She has a lot of things that we all love and at very good prices. Great service, of course, because I wouldn't promote anything on my channel that didn't have good service. And I'm always honest with you guys. So um, anyway, thank you for stopping by and looking. This is another one that I this is I paper pieced this one on on Periscope while I was teaching some people how to paper piece because some people haven't used stamps before. I mean, I wasn't born using stamps either. You know, we all have to learn. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm showing and go check out Christine's store. Thank you. God bless. Bye.